Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. The AFL's Gather Round is kicking off in Adelaide tonight. Joe is there to check it out. I'm here in Adelaide, which is the home for the first ever AFL Gather Round. The Gather Round is when all 18 teams come together and play all their matches in the same city. And starting tonight, there'll be nine matches here at Adelaide Oval, in Mount Barker, and here at Norwood Oval. And which games are you going to go and see? Every single one. I'm never going to miss any. <laughs> uh, more than 180,000 tickets have been sold so far, and more than 50,000 people from all corners of Australia have come to check out the action. Where have you travelled from today? Uh, Sydney. Um, Bunbury. I'm um, from Melbourne. Melbourne. I'm Melbourne. I, I don't have to ask who you support. Yeah, Carlton. Go Blues. Go the Blues. Go the Blues. Dad goes for Carlton, so we're just doing what he wants. What are you most excited for? Uh, probably just to see the game. Well, kind of the atmosphere, like it's really cool, like having so many people around. I'm excited for all of it. Me too, I'm excited for all of it. And that's that. Back to you in the studio. Communities in WA's northwest are making final preparations for tropical cyclone Ilsa. The cyclone is expected to keep getting stronger before it hits WA either later tonight or early tomorrow. A Category 4 cyclone will produce wind gusts in excess of 200 kilometres an hour. Um, it's very dangerous. Some people have moved to safer areas and others are stocking up in case power and water are cut off. For the most part, I'm pretty confident we've got at least seven days uh, worth of supplies here, so we should be alright. Now over to New York City, where there's a new sheriff in town. They've been put in charge of solving one annoying little problem, which is, well, you'll see. Here's Josh. Oh, no, no, no! Officer down! Officer down! You okay? You okay? Come on, stay with me. They're just too good at spreading bacteria and diseases. Who is? <laughs> Who did this to you? The what? The, 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 <laughs> the what? What is it? There's a new number one enemy for the people of New York, rats. In case you didn't know, rats are a common sight in the city and they're pretty dirty creatures that spread all sorts of things, including some nasty diseases. People have tried and failed numerous times to get rid of them, including the mayor of New York. And trust me, this guy hates rats. We don't need outside tenants like rats in our homes terrorizing us every day. New York City finally has a rat czar to declare war on the rodent population. Enter former school teacher Kathleen Karate. She's been appointed as the director of rodent mitigation. Her mission? To reduce rat numbers across the city once and for all. I will bring a science and systems-based approach with a strong focus on cutting off the food, water and shelter rats need to survive. She's calling on New Yorkers everywhere to join the fight and says they need to watch how they dispose of their food and rubbish so the city isn't just a feeding ground for these pesky little creatures. Ugh. You'll be seeing a lot of me and a lot less rats. <laughs> BTN news break on videotape. I never thought there'd be a gap in the market for that sort of thing. Just like these next stories. Excuse me, that's my line. First up to movie star and former politician Arnold Schwarzenegger, who spotted a gap in the market for some DIY roadworks. He decided to take matters into his own hands by fixing this hole in the road. This is crazy. Three weeks I've been waiting for this hole to be closed. A spokesperson for the city later said the pothole was actually a service hole needed for ongoing works. So, uh, uh whoops. <laughs> Now to the UK, and uh, I'm not sure if there's a gap in the market for board game inspired royal headwear, but if there was, this would probably fit the bill. Designed by British milliner Justin Smith to celebrate King Charles III's upcoming coronation and Scrabble's 75th birthday. And finally, this is the first time in 30 years that a red-headed vulture has successfully hatched in Thailand. It fills a much needed gap in the conservation effort of the species, which has been extinct in the wild since the early 90s. And zookeepers hope that it means more vultures can be hatched here in the future. Well, that's all we've got time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.